Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Legea. You can see I haven't raised my level yet, but I did go outside and just fight a few, so I think next battle, actually, I should level up. And, eh, we'll be alright. There's actually a really good chance to grind later, so I'll just have to uh, make sure to use my healing leaves when I need to. But anyway, let's head back out and actually check out some more of Drake's castle. Uh, we're going to take the middle door this time. We're going to use the Sunrise Key and the Sunrise Gate open. Well, go figure. And then we get to run through this little passage. There's pretty much one of those after each of the gates. It's really divided off into a bunch of sections that are uh, sealed off by locked gates. So um, we're definitely going to have to do a little bit of exploring to find everything. First off, on the top left here, there's a healing leaf in the treasure chest, which is actually very valuable right now. So that's good. All right, and guess how that battle went? Just about as good as the first one did. But you can see I did level up to four there, so um, let's go ahead and heal. Maybe I'll have a better time of it now that we've uh, leveled up a little bit. And of course, healing leaves already don't restore me fully. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, so now let's continue on through this door here. Um, there's actually a hidden chest in here. If we go on down to the bottom, then head left. As you can see, there's a Fury Boost in a hidden chest right there. There are actually quite a few of those scattered throughout the game, and those do, of course, count towards 100% treasure completion. So, uh, you're going to have to pretty much search every corner if you want to find them all. Looks like we got some more uh, Seru-possessed humans here. So, no, yeah, well, that sucks. And once again, a treasure chest inside there, but... Alright, we've got a battle with um, a couple of Gambards now, so this is um, a, a pretty good opportunity that we might be able to assimilate one of them, so I'm going to actually fight this battle out. And as you can see, at this point, they actually don't do that much damage. Although we've leveled up a bit, um, the Gambards are actually a lot less threatening than they were before. So, let's go ahead and uh, start attacking. For some reason, they're still faster than me, though. I don't get that. Oh yeah, look at that damage. We're doing pretty good now. Get him. Ah, I didn't get him. Yeah, it's pretty much just random luck, like I said before, whether you actually assimilate him or not. Um, Gamard is, of course, a Seru. Um, you can always tell because that let's see that little fire emblem. I was talking about that earlier, but uh, let's go ahead and spear it up again. I I'm fairly certain there's really no way you can increase the chances, besides a certain accessory we'll be getting later. But for now, I mean, you pretty much just have to rely on yeah, dumb blind yeah. luck, really. So maybe we'll get this one. Or maybe not. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, you'll know when it happens. I mean, it tells you, and there's an animation for it, so... Alright, guess we weren't successful, but you can actually see that we've already gotten quite a bit stronger since we started out. I mean, could you have imagined fighting two of those guys when we were back at level one, you know? So, <laughs> there's actually a, a pretty strong increase in stats, you know, every time you level up, so... Uh, we got the lightning key here, so we want to check that one out, and we get it. I don't know what has to go through all that text just to tell me I got the key, but whatever, that's fine. And now we can, of course, use the lightning key on the lightning gate. Cool. All right, so now that we have that, let's uh, check out this place. We've got a star gate over there, it looks like. We're going to check out the lower left first. And in here, we can open this chest to find a survival knife. Remember, I told you we'd be getting one of these for free, so don't buy it at the store. Well, here it is, so let's equip it. Going to up our attack from 50 to 56, so that's definitely helpful. And you'll also be able to see it in battle now. He'll, he will be wielding it when he attacks, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so now that we have uh, gotten that, we want to go and check out the other side. Oh, of course, there's a battle first. Ooh, all right, here's a new enemy with the Drake Ghost, and we also just got ambushed, so hey, that's awesome. Um, this guy, as you can see, is flying again, so low shots will not work. Um, the Drake Ghost also has a special attack. I think it's called, like, Wind Hash or something, but um, it's, you know, so you want to be spiriting for that if you can, if you're lucky enough. It's a lot like the Tail Fire for the Gamards. Um, again, our combo will work because it's all pretty much just uh, left, right, and uh, I think it's just left and right. You can also see Vaughn does have his knife there that he's using. Our uh, left attack has now been replaced with arms, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, these things can be a little bit tough. I think it still should only require one more attack, though. Um, it might be doing that wind hash or V hash. Wind hash! Hey, I was right the first time. I shouldn't doubt myself. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. Uh, now let's see if we can take him out with this one. Awesome, we did it. So, yeah, things are already starting to go a little bit smoother, at least than it was the last battle you saw. Or, I guess, not the Gamards, but, you know, the battle with the two skeletons uh, earlier, the first one we had in here. That eh, didn't go so well, but things are starting to get a little bit better now, so that's always good. 
Um, actually, you know what? No, I think there is a hidden chest in here if we check out... Yeah, there it is. There's a magic leaf. I don't even I don't even think that was a chest. I think that was just an item sitting out, so... Uh, there you go. Make sure to grab that. That's why I was kind of hesitating coming out. It's like, I know I forgot something in there, but... Alright, now we just want to... Oh, man. A lot of battles, huh? Alright, we had another battle with two Gamards, and again, didn't assimilate a single one of them, so go figure, right? Alright, now let's check the obvious glowing case over there. It contains the star key, so we're gonna pick this one up, and go through all the text. And there's nothing else in this room, so let's head on out. And we're gonna use the key on the northern door. Once again, it seems to be a recurring theme in this place. The gate opens, and we can go through another dark, damp, misty hallway. There we go, we assimilated it. As you can see, you knock it down, it comes back up. We can see that Meta acquired the power of Gamari. I'm glad I actually got that to happen, because I didn't want it to like accidentally happen off screen or something, you know? So that's good. We've now assimilated Gamari, that we can use his magic. So it's immediate, we don't have to wait till after the battle. We can check out Meta right now, and as you can see, we can use Gamard. He uses 10 MP. We've only got 40 max at this point, so uh, be a little bit, you know, sparing with it, but don't hesitate to use it if you need to. We're going to go ahead and do it anyway. The straight ghost is really no threat to me, but we can show what happens anyway, so let's do it. Boom, and look at that, 220 damage. That's about the equivalent of two spirited attacks by Vaughn right now, so... Um, that Gamard attack is actually a very potent weapon for this point in the game. And of course, with every new Seru that we come across, we can, we're gonna get the ability to gain a new spell, so... Just more stuff to collect, pretty much. Some of them are pretty useful, but I actually find that I don't use many spells in this game. I, I don't know, I guess that's just kinda how I play it, but whatever. Okay, so let's head up to the upper left first. There's a treasure chest here with a healing leaf inside. So now let's just go to the south from here and go through this door. And we're going to be taken to another hallway. Let's check this one out. And this place here, this is actually the throne room for the king, as you can see. First off, we're going to check to the right after we fight this battle. All right, and we're back. You can see uh, I could use a little bit of recovery. I pretty much just spent my MP there. Uh, but something happened in that battle that I hadn't talked about yet. We can check out Gamard here, and we can see he's actually now at level 2. He actually gained a magic level in that battle. Basically, all that does is um, I think it gains more attack power, and some spells will gain, like, additional effects. Um, after, like, certain levels, you'll either be healed of a status, or you'll cause a status on an enemy. Usually, that's about how it goes. So... Um, just, you gain the experience by using it, there's no visible counter or anything, you just keep using it until you gain a level, pretty much, so. I am going to skip healing for right now, because as we check out this, uh, top right door, you can see there's actually sort of a restroom. Uh, well, not, not a restroom like, you know, a bathroom, but a room you can rest in. Vaughn, the door to this room is quite strong. If you shut the door tightly, you should be able to rest peacefully in here. Do you want to rest? Oh, yeah, definitely, man. I am exhausted. A wise decision. While you are sleeping, I will stand guard. Can you do that? You're, like, attached to my wrist. Oh, well. We're gonna sleep anyway. Vaughn, I apologize for interrupting your dream. There is something I must tell you about the Seru and my powers. That's right, the Seru. They are horrible creatures, but the Seru themselves are not at fault. The Mist is responsible for all of this. I have special powers to use against the Seru. I can assimilate with the Seru that the Mist has made mad. The special powers of the Seru will combine with my own, making me a powerful weapon. I have already absorbed the abilities of Gimard, the Fire Seru you have fought, and of course I showed you that. It is not always possible to absorb the abilities of a Seru by fighting it. Nevertheless, let's try to fight as many Seru as we can and hope we absorb its powers. You can use the Seru abilities by expending MP. When to use it is up to you, just remember that MP is limited. So yeah, there's your little beginner tutorial about it, in case uh, you didn't have me to explain it to you. Alright, so this will uh, fully recover your HP and MP, and you can use it any time you want. Walk up to the bed here. Um, actually, I think you just walk out and back in, and he'll prompt you automatically. We also, of course, want to check out the chest. There's a Firebook 1 in the treasure chest, and we now have it, of course. So let's check that thing out. It's actually quite important. Um, if we look, Book of Hyper Arts for Meta. Hmm. Alright, sounds interesting. Let's use it. 
and Vaughn can now use the Tornado Flame move. That's the first of our three Hyper Arts that each of our characters is going to be able to learn. You can only learn these arts by reading the books, even if you already know the button combination. It's not going to do it for you unless you actually learn it this way. But this room right here is perfect for grinding. I mean, it's literally, it has to be designed for you to grind. I mean, there's a recovery in there, there's a save point, you know, I mean, it, it's just, it's absolutely perfect, and I'm going to take this opportunity to do so. We'll, of course, continue on. I mean, I'm not going to make you watch me grind on screen or anything, but... I see what we do now is go ahead and check out the new Hyper Art we picked up. You can see we have Tornado Flame at the top of our list. It goes right, right, left. It requires 30 AP, so make sure you watch out for that. We're going to use it, um, I don't know, I guess on the Drake Ghost. That guy's fire, so it seems like it wouldn't work as well. So let's do it on him. And there we go, that's Tornado Flame. You can see it did a little over 100 damage. That's about the equivalent of a, like a spirited attack that we would have been doing before. So Hyper Arts are, of course, a lot stronger than normal arts, but they do require a lot of AP as well. So... Um, just make sure you keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and finish this guy off. I guess we'll do it again, since we have plenty of AP at this point. So there we go. That'll take care of him. Now, I guess, technically, I could go ahead and leave, but I hate just leaving in the middle of the battle, so... Um, we'll go ahead and just show the rest of it. Why not? Uh, we could take the Gamard out of one spirit and shot anyway, so... And you can see that 10 damage is basically nothing now. These guys have went from major threat to absolutely no threat at all. <laughs> and we're doing a lot more damage now, too. See, 166. It's pretty good. Alright, so there we go. And we leveled up. I thought that might happen. That, to be honest, that's actually the reason I stayed in this battle, because I thought it might. I knew I'd been fighting a lot, so... Awesome, there we go. Like I said, this is a perfect room to grind, and we will do that later, but uh, for now, we're pretty much just about done with the castle, so I want to go ahead and uh, try to get as much of it as we can. If we head into this room here, we can actually check this. Somebody's growling. From its clothes, this Saru seems to have been one of the royal family. Vaughn, I have a feeling this Saru is King Drake. Look, there's a small key around its neck. That must be the key to the water gate. W what water gate? I never came across it. You mean the one that, you know, Nixon was involved with? Uh. All right, so there's a letter in the treasure chest here to the human traveler that finds this. Yeah, let's read it. I am Drake the Third, King of Drake. I know not who will read this letter, but anyone who makes it through the mist must have powers greater than the mist. No doubt you have seen the Sarah monsters in this castle's dungeons. Those monsters are, in fact, my dear, my dear retainers of the people of my kingdom. When the mist approached, we tried many ways to drive it back. We even prayed at the Genesis tree of Mount Rikuroa to the north. Legend says the tree has the power to save the human race. In the end, we decided to lock ourselves in the dungeon and wear Seru, surrendering to the mist. As Seru monsters, we should survive on Drake Water until the day the mist goes away. We locked ourselves in the dungeon so the Seru madness would not force us to harm anyone. So, Traveler, I ask you to drive away the mist as we were powerless to do so. You are the only hope for the future, the hope that sustains us. Phew. <laughs> that went by rather quick, didn't it? Alright, so we've got a heavy responsibility placed upon us, not like we didn't already, but we now actually sort of have the location of the Genesis Tree at Mount Rikaroa, so we're going to be checking that one out for sure. But first, we want to check out the mountain key in the case over here, so let's grab it, and that will pretty much allow us to uh, finish up this place here. Um, now, as we go back out of the throne room, make our way back around to either side, and, of course, take the gate to the north like we've always been doing. It doesn't look like you can open that one, but you can. Then we check this out. Of course, random battle. All right, I think I'm going to take this opportunity to stop now, actually, um, because I think once we head out through this passage and on up the stairs, it's going to take us to a place and will plunge us into some events that um, I'm not quite ready to get into right now. So uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, leave off here and uh, do a little bit of grinding off screen. I don't know how many levels I'm going to get, but um, I don't know. I might go crazy with it just for the sake of being comfortable for a while and not having to do it again, but... Um, either way, we will definitely come back much stronger next time as we make our way out of Drake Castle and towards the Genesis Tree at Mount Rikuroa. So, until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.